Okay, hello Crime Stoppers. I'm going to try and make two short videos instead of one long video. <laughs> All right, so the first video, financial collapse looms large. Uh, we're accelerating toward the financial collapse and uh, it's looking... Okay, so on this one, um, I'm a contrary, uh, right? I'm a contrarian. So when all these guys like Neuro Rubini and Faber and Schiff, who's been talking about this, right? And all these different people line up uh, talking about, but then it, you know, some of these guys are voting with their feet though. They're like the Wizard of Omaha, they're, you know, Warren Buffett and, and company uh, starting taking money out, Farber taking money out, right? Jim Rogers taking, because they see that there's a good chance that there's a perfect storm coming. So I'll put a whole bunch of links down there. But see, on the other hand, we have the Federal Reserve uh, printing money like crazy. And they dump them, their plunge protection team pretty much dumps money into the market like crazy. That's why the market's going up so high, right? There, there's so many opportunities right now to make money in the market. Oh my goodness, because they're dumping money in like crazy to, to prop this thing up. And a lot of this stuff, it's rigged. Same thing with the bond market. I mean, you just take a look at the, the bond market. The, the Federal Reserve is buying up like 90% of the bonds. So, of course, the other 10% in the open market is costing the rent. See how it works? It's rigged. It's all rigged. The bond market, when that thing blows, oh my goodness, it's all going to come tumbling down. And see, people are starting to see that the bond market, you know, loss of confidence is there. People are asking for their gold. People, <laughs> some they want, they repatriate the gold. Ooh, this could be a problem. So, uh, the idea is prepare what comes is going to cause the topic of the next video, the hard tyranny that we have coming. Right? And it's not going to be soft tyranny. It's going to be hard tyranny. It's coming your way. The disruptions that come. Now, here's the, the very simple thing. The bankers are going to try and tell you that it's the end of the world and that everything is going to go, uh, you know, kaboom. And it, when the, fail, the currency fails and the empire falls down, you guys are screwed. You're going to be scribbling around growing your own vegetables. And, you know, the planes won't fly and the buses won't run and the plane, but ships will stop. And the whole thing's going to come to a screeching halt. And you're going to be back in the dark ages. No. The Roman Empire fell apart. Uh, and you're correct, the Roman Empire is gone, but the Italians are still there. Right? There are plenty of Romans left. We call them Italians now. The, it, the people will be fine. There will be pain. There will definitely be pain. And we are become bad parents. We do not spank the, the children when they need spanking. They, we, they do not get punishment. These guys need punishment. You see what happens, right? Because they're going to tell you, and, and there's articles where Obama doesn't prosecute because we, you know, got to save the banking system. And these guys are, you know, laundering drug money, committing fraud, doing, you know, they're doing naughty, naughty things, naughty, naughty. And we don't do anything about it. We don't put these bankers in jail. So, of course, they do more of it. Right? Of course. It just, I mean, if you don't punish a kid, it, of course, that's what's going to happen. It's, it's, it's the same thing. Our government is not held accountable. The bankers are not held accountable. And this is another thing. These guys talking about, oh, these guys against corpora corporations. I'm not against corporations. Corporations that want to teach you math, for example, and make, you know, I'm not against those guys. Corporations that make pens. Corporations that, that little corporations that get together and they, they, you know, they're raising money because they want to make solar powered, uh, you know, generators and so forth, lamps and so on. And they're raising money. That's a good corporation. Okay. No, the corporations I'm talking about are the huge corporations that own the central banks that these that these guys put in they incorporate right they try to make these people these you know imaginary people and then they use those people to enslave you and they set up the corporations our founding fathers talked about this the bankers set up these corporations and their banks and then the corporations that spring up around those that the banks put their money into the military industrial complex the prison industrial complex the medical industrial complex the security industrial complex so forth okay and then, uh, and, the, and the big agribusinesses like Monsanto and, and ConAgra and all these other places, all they're doing is put it, is what they've always done. What people have always, what naturally happens is you try to be better than your competition. And if you can't, you cheat. And what happens is you wind up try, colluding with the government to put your competition out of business. It's called monopolies. They try to make monopolies. So they have a monopoly on money. We don't have competing currencies right now. They try to make a monopoly on freaking milk for Pete's sakes, right? They don't want to have raw dairy farmers and small farmers selling you milk and getting too big and cutting into their, right? The food, energy. They don't want to have cars that get 100 miles to a gallon, etc. So they collude with the government and they make sure that, that it doesn't happen. Anybody that, that, you know, tries to give them competition, they put them out of business. And especially if it's something simple like, you know, marijuana, pot, cures cancer. Right, feeds chickens. Right, you use the hemp and so forth. Those the hemp seeds, and they try to confuse the two. Hemp seeds, you get. I mean, with hemp, you get 
uh, industrial building material, you get fiber, you get food, you get, you know, so like canvas, cannabis, canvas, that old canvas jeans, Levi's, they were well known for being much more durable than cotton jeans. Of course, they don't want that. And on top of that, they want, they want planned obsolescence. They don't want your jeans lasting forever. They want you to buy new jeans. So why not use inferior materials? And then it's great. So then the companies that have uh, cotton fields, they go lobby the government. The companies that have, you know, give you oil, they lobby the government. The companies that produce seed for, for animals, they or food for animals, they, they you know, because chicken feed ain't chicken feed. That's a pretty big business in the United States. Think about it. They, they collude so that you don't use hemp seeds. And think how much healthier these chickens would be if you fed them hemp seeds, if you know anything about hemp. Anyway. It's just the guys doing their thing, just doing the monopoly thing. It's not some evil conspiracy by Satan. It's not the evil of money. It's not evil corporations. It's guys colluding. And see, we're supposed to have a government and us that we get together and we keep these guys from enslaving us with debt and enslaving us with their inferior products and services that we have to buy over and over again, enslaving us with uh, centralized power where we have to buy power that's metered instead of generating our own with a device that costs like, ooh, five thousand, six thousand dollars and it lasts for 30 or 50 years and it generates all the power your house could possibly need, including you could plug your electric car into it if you wanted to, but why not just get a car that runs on uh, water, <laughs> right, because water is fuel, H2O, two hydrogens, stable at room temperature in a liquid form, no, can't have any of that. And they'll try to tell you that, no, this is crazy and you don't understand. No, because the guys that, that tell you that it's crazy make money off of oil and they'll write the textbooks to make sure that you think that this is impossible. Whereas hydrogen on the fly is, is very possible. There's so many ways to make energy. It's everywhere. It's abundant everywhere in the universe. And these guys have tried to figure out, well, not tried. They have successfully figured out how to enslave you where you have to spend your paycheck every month to pay them to make power for you. Right, and wind energy, not the way to go. Energy from thorium, yeah, a little bit better, but still centralized power. No, having your own solar panels, having your own energy generation. No, they don't want. They don't want you. To, right, they don't want that. Okay, and it's not evil corporate. It's just guys making money off of you. Right, they can make a few bucks off of everybody, and they do it. So you guys make a few bucks on gas. You guys make a few bucks selling electricity. You guys make a few bucks selling food. You guys make a few. Right. Whereas you could be growing your own food very easily. And if you don't, then you could be free not to pay for the other stuff like, like food and gas, or excuse me, gas and, uh, and electricity and, and all the, these other things that they have, you know, interest payments and debt service and so forth. You'd have a lot more money to buy food and take a vacation. Maybe you wouldn't have to work so hard. Maybe you could sit down and read, right? So great <laughs> and bastit. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Ah, it just cracks me up. He doesn't know how to say Bastia. Uh, French. Good French is poor English, guys. Anyhow, uh, where was I? I cracked myself up. Okay, so here's all kinds of articles uh, it's talking about. It's not conspiracy theory. It's just, you know, paying attention, paying attention to history. Fiat currencies always collapse. Empires always collapse. When empires collapse, at the very end, they become police state. They become tyr tyrannical. It's not going to be any different in the United States. We're just like everybody else on the planet. And it, and it should be obvious to all what's happening here. But apparently, you know, I'm like some kind of radical and it's like, oh my God, he's just like, right? I'm just telling you what's happened every single time and what's gonna happen, what's happening now. What's happening? This is what's happening. So here's a great article, uh, well not article, video. It's just very simple. If you don't have an hour to watch it, then skip ahead to like about 15, 14 and watch for like five minutes. And it's just uh, Kyle Bass talking about J. J. Kyle Bass talking about uh, how how inevitable it is that what comes comes because these guys again failed ideas over and over again because they don't read their history don't they don't understand history they don't they don't right they can't do mathematics so they proffer the same failed ideas over and over again and it fails every time and they they're doing it again. So when they try to inflate their way out of debt, it can't happen. They don't have the option to inflate their way out of debt because what happens is, yes, the money supply gets inflated and yes, their tax receipts and yes, you pay back the old debt with new inflated dollars that are worth less than the debt that was created. But the problem is those receipts are linear. It's a linear, oh, let's go this way. It's a linear pattern, right? Okay, so it's a linear uh increase in your receipts from taxes and so forth. But the debt goes up exponentially, goes up exponentially, a power curve. And what happens is there's no way that those receipts can keep up with the debt. And when you start getting to 20, 25 times, 
things go boom, right? Eventually it falls apart. Like, and he talks about Japan and how there's no way that they raise the interest even a little bit, right? And this is the other reason why they want to, you know, have no competing currencies and they don't want gold and silver and so forth because the gold and silver tells you that the, the money is becoming worthless. So they, they, on purpose, they keep it down. But what happens is that they keep the prices suppressed and they try to keep the revision of mean from happening, right? Where we have this crazy disparity between gold and silver where it's always been 16 to 1, they're about 16 to 18 to 1, and right now we're over 50 to 1. So it would be a really good idea to get some silver. Um, but they try to make you think, that's crazy talk. In the meantime, the Japanese are like, they, they're having like Christmas, Black Friday shopping at places that sell gold and silver because the Japanese, and or excuse me, the Chinese government is very much encouraging the, their populace to get their hands on gold and silver. What's the American government doing? Whatever the American government does, countries have figured out, just do the opposite and you'll probably be okay. <laughs> right? It was Seinfeld, right? Costanza, George Costanza. Just do the opposite of what you would normally do and you start having a successful life, right? When you're having a failure. Our government, I mean, when it comes, like put the bankers in jail, right? It's pretty simple. Iceland kicks out the FBI because they put the bankers in jail, not the activists. Our country, we put the activists in jail, and they and they, they colluded state by state to put all these Occupy Wall Street. Yeah, anyway, and then you guys, the no Occupy Wall Wall Street movement, are cl clever enough and the, to understand that the Tea Party guys are basically on your side, and Tea Party guys aren't smart enough to understand the Occupy Wall that we're all it's us against them. It's liberty versus tyranny, and and you're either for liberty or tyranny. Pick one. So anyway, I'm gonna put more uh, more articles about that. And how, you know, the, the Rothschilds are indeed hoarding gold and how gold rise above, right? Anyway, here's a whole bunch of articles. And then we don't prosecute these guys. And so what these guys try to tell you is that the world's coming to an end. Oh, if the FRN fails, it's going to cut. And we can't, we, these two guys are too big to fail. And if the whole thing fails, and they, too bad, let them fail. And you'll see, like I said, the Iceland story, right? Iceland was a complete mess, a complete collapse, a complete, and not even two years later, they're back in the ballgame. Things are better, actually. Okay, so here's an article on Obama, you know, not prosecuting the fraud to save the system. And you can find tons of articles like this. This is why, right? This is one of the reasons why, because, you know, we can't put these guys in because they're too big to fail, which is complete nonsense. Another one by Chris Weiland talking about the derivatives time bomb. I'm trying to go fast here. Um, the article, of course, about why Iceland experienced a strong economic recovery after the complete collapse. And then an article just to show, again, this, but also the simple concept. Oh, and I got to put the Max Kaiser video in there. Watch the whole thing just because it's fun, right? The Kamikaze Currency Killers, just watch the whole thing. And he makes, they make the great point in that video that, that we've become soft. The West has become soft since World War II because we've always had abundance. We've always had plenty. And they are working to dismantle that. And again, it's, it's just history. It's not about ideas. It's not about all the great, you know, uh, you know liberty and compete, sound money and you know, freedom and unalienable rights. and the, No, when people get hungry and the disparity between the very wealthy and the very poor becomes too great, when the 1% owns more than the bottom 90% combined, when the difference between the wealthy and the poor is too great and the poor become hungry, that's when revolutionary, when, when revolutions happen, when they become revolutionaries, right? <laughs> freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose, right? Or nothing, I mean, simple. Okay. So anyway, and then a, a simple uh, article, God bless Texas, right? These guys, right? Uh, what is it? The uh, I like, I, I, we're once in a while, we'll install our watchdog. A righteous and determined minority has always prevailed against tyranny. Always. Okay, this is, it's always been the case. But how about we don't get there? How about we stop, uh, educate, jury nullification, liberty, voluntarism, free markets, right? Not crony capitalism, not corporatism, but actual corporations that are in business for your benefit. And when they're not in business for your benefit, when they start doing things that are bad, we pull their their contract, right? Um, like you know, the the people that own the we own the airwaves. These people that are lying to you on the mainstream media, right? You you pull the plug on them. Right? That's what the governments are supposed to do. But what, what's happened? Well, the, the, the guys that do the mainstream media, they own the FCC. <laughs> Certainly that's not going to happen. Um, a corporate charter is the term I was looking for, right? You get rid of it. Like, you, nope, pull it. You guys can't do business in the United States. Right? <gasps> that's crazy talk. Same thing with these companies, right? With treasonous companies that are selling, you know, arms and weapons to our enemies. Pull their corporate contract. You can't do business in the United States. We will not, right? I mean, that's crazy talk. Never, it won't happen. We become lax parents. Hold these bankers accountable? Nope. Right? Prosecute for fraud? Nope. 
right? The, the, the TSA when they break the law, Got p police when they break the law, right? Shooting people while they're in handcuffs, tasering pregnant women, tasing pregnant women that are in handcuffs. People getting, sh you know, shooting themselves in the back of squad cars while they got their hands caught behind. The Somehow they got a hold of the gun and they shot themselves in the head. Yeah, right. You don't twenty kids get shot in Sandy Hook? Oh, but you know, cops, you're much more likely to die, right, from 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 than cops and terrorists. And even then, let's well, let's say that it's a thousand people that have died from gun violence, and that's that's way high uh, when it comes to like you know the mass murder. Type I'm talking about, like the Sandy Hooks and the and the uh, you know Batman shootings and you know all those famous ones that they make, right? The school shootings and so forth, mass shootings. Let's say it's a thousand people a year. It's not a thousand people a year, but let's say it is. There's 300 million of us. Do the math. Do the math on how many people get killed by doctors. Do the math on how many people get killed in drunk driving accidents. And again, with this whole gun debate, we should be looking at the drugs, not the guns. Because we don't have a gun violence problem. We have a criminal violent problem. Sometimes they use guns. Sometimes they use fists. Sometimes they use, right? That was a good point by Ted Nugent, that it's, it's not gun violence. It's criminal, right? The, the criminals use guns. Law-abiding citizens, you don't have a problem with those guys having guns. In fact, law-abiding citizens stop criminals with guns. Very simple. That's the final thing on that. But fully informed juries, understand the liberty movement. Understand and educate others about what comes, because what's coming is going to be nasty. It's always been nasty because these things always end badly. Okay, that's video one. Now, the next part is going to be about the, the evidence for, uh, you know, this financial collapse causing the hard tyranny, right? Okay. Thanks for all your support in case you don't get to the next one because I know it's like 15, 16 minutes already. But, uh, you know, try and keep them short instead of making a half hour video or 20 minute video. Thanks. I, I, I can't say it enough. Thank you for all your support. Thanks for all your comments, even you fuckers that I don't agree with. <laughs> right? And you racist bastards. All that. I don't care. Americans. E pluribus unum. Takes all of us to make it. They, all the way on the left, all the way on the right. And it, right? Anyway, discourse and makes a man wise. Anyhow, meditation. Uh, anyway, there's a quote there. I'll put it on the bottom. I'll talk to you soon.